Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for the support. Thank you guys for clicking on this video. So we have some baby snakes finally. It's been a very long season. I basically started breeding all of my stuff in November of 2023. So it is now in June. We finally got baby snakes. We got two clutches in the incubator. We might have about seven or eight more females dropping eggs within the month or two. And then all the females that didn't do anything yet, hopefully will do something in the next couple of months. So it looks like my, my cycle from now on is going to be winter to spring to, to summer instead of breeding uh, a lot of these in, 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 the, in the fall to spring, getting early spring babies. So my cycle is going to be a little bit later than a lot of people's, which is perfectly fine as long as we're getting healthy babies. I don't care when it happens, but I got everything marked down. So next year, hopefully we can get on the uh, same cycle and repeat the process again. So very, very excited to show you what was actually hit on the genes and the odds for these because it's wild and I'm super excited to show you guys. Um, well, I think one of these snakes is probably one that is you've probably never seen before with one of the genes on, on how the coloration is, which show you guys that here in just a little bit. So the parents were from Canova. I got a lot of stuff from Canova. Um, it was a, the female was an orange dream and she leopard pied. And then the male was an orange dream and she yellow belly pied. So I got a lot of yellow belly. Uh, I do have a lot of yellow belly. I have a lot of orange dream and I got a lot of and she pieds. My goal was to hit super ODs and super Enchies mixed in with yellow belly and leopard. There's just something really cool about leopard getting mixed in all this stuff with a really dark, dark uh, head pattern and then the neck pattern. It just looks cool. So, like I said, my goal was to hit the super stuff and uh, we got the odds. So the odds on a few of these were in the favor. We hit some supers, we hit double supers, we got yellow belly, we got one with everything, which is phenomenal. And I don't think those odds would ever recreate again, but you know, it's like a one or 2% chance off market to hit two supers and then every gene else that's that's in there. It's just wild. So you'll see that in a little bit. Um, and I got a lot of more OD stuff and more anti stuff. So hopefully the odds keep uh, up with the breeding and we just keep hitting a bunch of super stuff. So this is the hard part about it is either keeping it or selling it. So and everybody knows with the super stuff, you'll never get a normal. Um, and then if you got double supers and the triple supers, that's what you're going to get the base model of whatever, uh, the super is. So super OD, super Anchi, and super yellow belly, which I didn't hit on these, but the the minimum baby that you would have is OD and she yellow belly pied, which is, and you can just keep stacking from there. So everybody wants the supers and I definitely understand why. Uh, selling these would definitely help get myself out of the debt that I've collected, uh, just starting up the business, starting out, starting out with the animals. I do need an ultrasound machine, so that would help with that. And, you know, eventually I want to take all these animals out of my bedroom because I I'm running out of room, I need to expand. So that, that that's a big goal of mine is to be able to either get a barn built out back or move into a bigger house where I can put everything in the basement or, or outside or whatever it may be um, because I'm breeding a lot now. I'm in a very, very tiny bedroom and I just need to be preparing myself for the future and, and, and expansion, which is very difficult to do. Um, so I bought this house many years ago when I only had two snakes and I didn't even think about breeding. And now that I am, everything's kind of blowing up very quickly, uh, very fast on how everything is going. So with everything that you see back here, and there's a bunch of stuff behind the camera, especially with the anacondas, those are getting big. Um, so expansion is, is going to be needed. Or do I keep them and have all these supers that I rebreed and make everything more awesome in the future and just keep stacking and stacking and stacking stuff and make super awesome stuff in two years or less if they're female or if they're males, if they're females, two year minimum, but most likely it's going to be two and a half, maybe three, two to three years of when they're going to breed. 
So it's very difficult and I don't know what to do. I mean, looking at them, I want to keep all of them. Obviously, I'm still going to keep them until I shed, until I eat a couple times, and then I'll decide on what's going on, unless I put them up for sale on a ridiculously high price that if somebody's willing to pay, oh, excuse me, willing to pay, then um, that may be it. But if I have to keep these, it, it's perfectly fine. Whether it's male or female, once you see these, it doesn't even matter if it's male or female. It won't change anything. If it's a male, I'll pass it around to every single female pie that I have. And I have all these other pies that I won't even mess with. Um, so that, so, but if it's a female, oof, tough, really, really tough. So not to keep you guys any longer on um, the decision making, let's check those out. All right, let's check these out. So these are best guesses that I can actually see. You guys can help me out on these. I've had basically two confirmations on what they are. Uh, I posted one of these up on uh, a Facebook page and Canova was on there, whether it was Justin or not. I think it was Justin. He jumped on and he said, hey, this is what I think it is. And so I'm going to take that and enroll with it since he is basically the uh, the Mr. Knows Everything About Ball Pythons, which is awesome that he comments on Facebook pages. So let's check these out. Uh, you guys can help me if I'm wrong on these or if you think otherwise. But let's check out this first one right here. And then we'll see that awesome one here very, very shortly. So this one is awesome looking. Um, I'm seeing Orange Dream. I'm seeing Leopard. And I'm seeing Enchi. Maybe Super Enchi. Really wide eye bands. Green eyes. Um, I don't know if it's super because you can still see a lot of the patterning. So possibly just regular Enchi. And I'm I'm saying no yellow belly in this one at all because there's no pixelations. There is no jagged edging. So OD, Leopard, Enchi, Pied. Perfect. Can't go wrong with that. And it seems like once you breed leopard into something, everything's leopard. Leopard gets is very potent, I've noticed. Which one do we want to go to next? We'll go to this one. This one right here is awesome. So this one I want to say is yellow belly because it has a jagged edging, a lot of pixelation on it, and not Enchi. I'm just going to say not Enchi, but Leopard. Possible Leopard. Possible Super Orange Dream because it's very high white. I think Super OD uh, makes it high white. So it has o Orange Dream in it no matter what. So um, I'm just going to say Super OD Leopard Yellow Belly Pied. Again, I don't know if these are male or female. I will wait until they shit out. But so far... None of these are bad at all. So that's number two. Number three, my second favorite. And this is going to be a tough one to get rid of right here. This one, somebody confirmed uh, by looking at it. It is a super orange dream, super enchi, yellow belly, leopard, pied. So double supers with the yellow belly with the leopard man that is a gorgeous snake and you can see the pixelations and the jagged edging the coloration super super high white that is going to be a tough snake to get rid of i should just keep this one because it's a uh double uh double super man that's a gorgeous animal i love how the leopard makes it super dark up in the head and the neck and then it just fades out into nothing so the supers definitely make it almost no white and then it cleans up all the patterns it appears so that's gonna be tough this one's gonna be tough to sell this is the one that is very very interesting canova commented on this one you can see that it has a white nose very interesting i heard that normally happens with these special pieds and this had no special, so very, very, very interesting. It has a white nose on it. So this is a Super OD Leopard Yellow Belly 
pied. So because he said this one was a super OD with a high white, I would just assume this is also a super OD because it is also very high white and those yellows or an oranges almost look the same. Although he did say it was a very interesting pattern, but he said in his opinion, it is the super OD with the yellow bell. You can see the pixelations right there and then and then leopard with the darkness on the head but that's going to be one man that's gonna be tough to get rid of but that is the four i'm glad this is a first clutch of the year we're gonna have to see what everything else looks like because it's gonna be tough beating these so beautiful animals you guys can help me out on the ids if you want to maybe i mixed them up maybe i got stuff wrong but there they are. They are phenomenal. So thank you guys for the support. Hopefully you guys like these animals. And we will see them once they shed. See you guys on the next video.